Alrighty, folks, Hurricane Irene posing a major threat to lives and property on the East Coast right now. Taking a look at the latest infrared satellite imagery, you can, she, you can see that she is looking good. Great cirrus bands on the outer edges of her, lots of convection rotating around the center. Hispaniola getting lashed out right now, but the Bahamas are going to get absolutely, uh, see an absolutely catastrophic impact. And then, of course, North Carolina comes next. Let's just take a look at what's going on for right now. Her winds are 100 miles an hour. Her pressure is at 978 millibars. Her movement's off to the west-northwest, and her storm surge potential is 9 to 13 feet. That will be devastating, and we're going to talk about that in just a bit. But first, here's a projected path showing that she pushes off to the northwest, a category 3 ripping through the Bahamas, actually probably a 4 ripping through the Bahamas, um, and it's going to be so bad. I mean, you know, I would evacuate if I was in the Bahamas, but of course you should listen to your local officials on that, but there will be major catastrophic impacts to the Bahamas. I think she makes landfall uh, right before the Outer Banks uh, begin, and right right northeast of Wilmington, North Carolina. Winds at 120, but that's possible. It's very likely she's a Category 3 at landfall, maybe a 4. I think she's still going to end up ripping through the Virginia Tidewater as a 2 before she eventually weakens off to the northeast, but not after really uh, making her mark. Now let's take a look here at maximum local wind speeds. This graphic will change. It's very preliminary, but I'm thinking right now we're seeing hurricane force winds from eastern North Carolina through the Virginia Tidewater, Delaware, uh, you know, Long Island and back through the south coast of New England. And then further inland, if you're not getting hurricane force winds, you're getting tropical storm force winds well inland. And this just a gusty uh, rain with a little bit of breezy here across as you make your way into the Appalachians. No threat to the Appalachian Mountains other than extremely heavy rainfall. Looks like five to ten inches of rain, but it's that we're not ready to make a graphic for that quite yet. We don't know enough. About 12 inches is possible. Uh, how about storm surge? I'd say greatest storm surge potential, of course, for the Bahamas, major storm surge expected. But as you make your way towards North Carolina and uh, extreme upstate states, South Carolina, right to the east of the center, very high storm surge, around 8 to 14 feet. And it, as the storm rips through the Virginia Tidewater back in, on and through uh, the Delaware area and, coast, and the place area of Maryland that sort of jets out, there still be winds gusting likely to over hurricane force. I'm expecting a uh, storm surge to be significant in eastern Maryland. Uh, you know, this could be uh, very bad. This will be comparable to Norida, uh, the tropical, the extra tropical system which affected the Delaware area, except the storm surge was likely to be at least six to seven feet for those areas. And then as you make your way for, uh, further north and east, uh, Southern New England likely to see some storm surge. It kind of depends on how much land weakens it. If it can get back over water, there'd be a more significant storm surge from Long Island back out towards Cape Cod. Okay, wave action this time around, guys. I mean, it's going to be epic, so stay out of the water. You know, it's pretty obvious when there are waves up to 30 feet from, you know, the areas just to the right of where the storm makes landfall. Uh, all the way back up towards New Jersey, 10 to 20 foot waves. Florida looks like to get some, uh, you know, gusty, squally conditions. It's 6 to 10 foot surf. Not really expecting too many impacts with Florida or Georgia. The really bad stuff spreads from South Carolina to Maine. Uh, there will be significant wind damage inland. There will be significant, severe wind damage towards the coast. This is the biggest storm we have ever covered here at Stormtopia.com. And we will, of course, continue to provide the latest info. Like our Facebook page, follow our Twitter feed, and uh, stay ahead of the storm, guys, because this is likely to be a billion-dollar disaster. Stay tuned for updates. Thanks for checking in.